In this video, I'm going to show you how to fade your audio and your video in and out using Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and I've got two video clips on my timeline. I've got this one clip of the London Eye. There's no audio with this. I'm gonna show you how to do the video fade in and out using this clip. And then I've got one of my previous tutorial videos and I've got some audio attached to this video. And I'm gonna show you how to fade the audio in and out using this audio as a reference. But first we'll start with video. How do you fade video in and out? Well, if we select the video clip, select somewhere where you want the fade in to begin. So we're two seconds in, we'll go up to the video effects tab on the top left. We'll select opacity and then we'll pull the opacity down to 0%. Now, in order for this to be an animation, you want to make sure that a keyframe was created there. And you'll know if a keyframe was created because there'll be a white or blue diagonal square just there. If there's not though, and this is what your timeline looks like, then you want to select this stopwatch or toggle animation icon. Select that and that will create that keyframe. That's gonna create the starting point for the animation. Now, you want to move over however long you want this to last for. So if you want this fade in to last a few seconds, then just move a few seconds over. And then we'll pull the opacity from zero all the way up to 100%. So as you can see, we've got these two diagonal squares here. This is our first point, this is our second point. This first one is zero, this second one is 100. So when we play this back, We've hit the starting point, the video is going to get brighter as we move towards that 100%. And there we go, we've gone past that second point, which means we're now at 100%. Of course, there was a few seconds to get to that point, and that's because the gap between these two frames is a few seconds long. So, using that method, if you wanted to increase the speed of the fade in effect, then you want to pull this second keyframe closer to the first one. Now, when we play this back, that fade in is a lot quicker. Of course, we can go even faster, and this is how that looks. Now, in order to fade our video out, we're basically doing the exact same thing as fading in, but in reverse. So we'll create a new keyframe at 100, move over and create one at zero. So let's create a brand new keyframe on 100%. So we've got 100% here. We're gonna select this circle, add slash remove keyframe button here. So we'll press that and that will create a new keyframe. You can see we've got this diagonal square on this part of the video here. Now we'll move over a second and we'll pull this down to 0% and you can see that second keyframe has been created. Now, if we play this back, we've got our fade out and the same logic applies to our fade in. If you wanted to extend the duration of the fade in or the fade out, then you just pull the second keyframe over and that's gonna make that fade out nice and long. That's gonna take at least five seconds to get to that end point. So that is how you fade in and out from a video. Now, let me show you how to do that with audio because audio is a little different. So we're moving over to this example. This is a video of me talking all about hair lights. So, of course, if we click onto the audio and we go into volume, then we can do the same technique of pulling the level all the way down. But I find that gets a little bit complicated because you have to work with decibels and negative numbers and I avoid that. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this pen tool here. So make sure you find the pen tool. We'll create a point somewhere. So we'll go to here. This will be the start point and we'll create an end point. So move over and we'll create the end point. I'm just gonna increase the size of this just so you can clearly see what I'm doing. So we've got, this is our first point and this is our second point. So we're gonna take this first point and we're gonna pull that down. So select it and pull it down. So our audio. Now it doesn't matter if your Our audio starts at nothing, you can't hear it and then it comes back up to the volume that we want. So I'll give you another example of that. So this line is in the middle. We've got the left channel and the right channel. We're just gonna select a point here. We'll move over, let's go a few seconds more and we'll pull this down. And then when we play that back, no audio. If you're a videographer or a photographer, you should know by now that audio fades in. Now, if you wanted that transition to be quicker, then just grab that first point and move it closer to the second point. Know by now that, know by now that light. 
And if you wanted to move the starting point over, so you didn't want it to fade in at that point, you wanted it to fade in later. Then you want to select the first point, hold shift on your keyboard, select the second point, so both should now be blue. And you just want to move them over. Parts of our job. And then of course, the same thing applies for the way out, the fade out will create a brand new point. We'll move over, create a second point, and we'll pull that point down. Editing is really important because it not only and that is our audio fade out. You can do the audio fade out using this technique. Now it doesn't matter if this is music or dialogue, if it's an audio file and you've got the waveform there, then you can just go ahead and use this technique to fade in and out your audio. Now, before I wrap this video up, I'm just gonna answer one question and that is, why can't I see this line? Why can't I do this effect on my audio? And that's because most likely the audio waveform is really small. So as you can see on the timeline, the video and the audio is really small. And when I'm clicking on it, I can't do that effect. It won't let me because the audio, the waveform is too small. So in order to remedy this, you want to grab the line just underneath the track that you're on. So we've got audio one, we've got this line just underneath audio one, select that, drag it down. And now we've got this line in the middle and we can do all the effects that we want. And there you go. That is how you fade your video and your audio in and out right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you in a future video. See you there.